Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I'm going to do a color and chat with you. But first I want to show you some books, a couple of books here. Um, Dover sent me a couple of their creative Haven books to review and the first one that they sent me was uh, one that's uh, one of their brand new books that is out and this is Stunning Succulents by Jessica Mazurkiewicz. Mazurkiewicz. <laughs> I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but that's the best I can do with it. Um, so yeah, um, this is obviously a book full of uh, um, succulents, and um, I'm going to do uh, give this book its own flip. I did do a picture in it, and uh, I did this heart wreath here in uh, gel pens and the other book that they sent me I told them I liked their color by number books and uh, they sent me sea life to work in and uh, this is the one that we're going to uh, work in and I will give this book its uh, own flip too so people can look through it if they're interested but the pages in here are very complicated or I guess I shouldn't say complicated I should say intricate they have a whole introduction on how to color in this book they this is um, for a color by number book it is a lot more artistic than than the run of the mill color by number book and I assume all of their books are like this they have a 24 palette uh, uh, well not they have a 24 color palette and it's based on your average 24 set of pencils and they do advise you to use pencils in this book and then they tell you how to go about using that and um, what they tell you how to do is how to um, blend the sections together so that you don't have that harsh line and then one of the colors in this book is uh, black shadow so black is actually listed twice once as a color and once as a shadow and um, the number ones are all put uh, close to a color that's beside it and you're supposed to color that one the same color as the one beside it and then you go over it lightly with black to shadow it to create shadows in your picture now um, I ignored all that <laughs> because I like to use uh, markers more than I like to use pencils and one of the reasons that I like the color by numbers is that I like the um, I guess you could say the pop art uh, ness of them I like the sharp lines and I like the bright colors and uh, yeah that's what appeals to me so I'm doing this in markers not following their instructions and for the number ones where I'm supposed to shadow I'm just doing them the base color that you're supposed to do for an example here you see all this uh, you see all this brown here well up to here was supposed to be the brown and then the bottom half of it 
the bottom half of it here was supposed to be, if you were using your pencils, was brown and then shadowed lightly with gray. I just did the whole thing brown and that's the way I'm doing this picture. Now usually when I do a color along I start a picture or not a color along, a color in chat, sorry. I usually start a picture but I thought today we would do something different and uh, switch things up and I would try and finish this picture with you. So, um, I am doing this in fine liners. These are the colors I've used already. And I keep them out in case I find one, uh, a space that I missed, then I have my colors out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm all caught up on the colors that I've used. But I'm using a mixture of Papermate Flares and um, Stettler Tri Plus fine liners and then I have a set of Sketchbox signature fine liners. I don't believe these can be purchased anymore, but um, I'll have a look and I'll put the links to those down below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so when you use my links, I do receive a few cents for each purchase and I put that money back into the channel. So I have my markers up here and let's get to work. Now I've been doing the numbers in order and I've got one through nine done. Now there's not that many colors left and I think I'm just going to start with whatever colors here and work my way. Now the one thing I do not like about their color by number books is that they put their color palette on the inside front cover. Usually it is in other books it's either on the page uh, or on the back cover but usually there's a flap that flaps out and since this is on the front cover you have to keep doing this now that's what I'm doing for this picture is I keep peeking to see what my color is but I'm going to photocopy this page and uh, cut that out I'll, I'll probably do it onto some cardstock and then cut that out and use it as a as a bookmark to hold my place so, um, we're going to start with 23, which is pink. And it's the only pink they use except for a magenta. So, I'm just going to go in with my paper make flare because I'm using those first. So, we're going to do the pinks. Now, these... Take some time because I slowly outline them and then color them in. So I may be quiet every once in a while because it does take concentration. Now my my colors are not really bleeding through. There's a few spaces here and there, but I'm still using a, a blotter sheet just in case something happens. Uh, are we on screen? Yeah, but sorry, my hand is covering this up in the corner here. But I guess I'll try and keep my hand like that. Okay, <laughs> I need to take a sip of pop. So my last chat I did on this channel was a collage and chat. And in that, in that video, I asked my viewers what they would like to see. 
if they wanted me to continue on doing my... Okay, what color are we doing? 23? Okay. So if they wanted me to continue on doing my um, collaging on the channel, or if they prefer just for me to do the new color in chats. And everybody who answered said I should do what I wanted to do. That was the resounding reply, which um, I thank you for. That's a uh, very generous um, answer being more concerned that I enjoy what I do than <laughs> you enjoying what you're seeing. But um, a few of the people did say, do what makes you happy, but we, I do like your, your collages, your glue books, your junk journals. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to mostly be doing um, color and chats right now because I am just really in coloring mode and I can't see that stopping anytime anytime soon so sorry I'm talking <laughs> when I think and and uh, or when I'm coloring and talking I found out that I talk like Captain Kirk but, um, yeah, so there's going to be lots of color in chats on here. And I'm definitely going to do my flips of my, my glue book flips. And if I finish any, um, if I finish any junk journals or anything like that, I will continue on doing a flip. And every once in a while... I will do a collage and chat as I work on one of those. I've got a few um, glue book videos that I want to do. Now someone also asked me if I was going to do another Dyson deal challenge. And that is a, that is a challenge that I, I was doing for a uh, few months, maybe about six months, and uh, we kind of like went through the process of working on um, a collage together by randomly picking prompt cards, and um, I really hadn't been having too much feedback on those, so I stopped and... I only had a couple of people ask me what was up with that. But I really enjoyed doing them. And since there are a couple of people who are still interested in me doing them, I think I will continue to do them. So uh, you can expect Maze to come up very shortly here. 21 is red. Okay, that's easy enough. So you can, you can expect the May Dyson deal to be coming up in the near future. And, uh, yeah, so that's where I stand on what I'm going to, how I'm going to be, how I'm going to be mixing my, uh, uh, let's call it mixed media and my coloring my, and my collaging, which is basically mixed media. So that's what you can expect from me in the future. Um, yeah. So, um, let's see, I haven't talked to you since Easter, so, uh, we had a nice Easter, um, it was quiet, you know, we didn't do a lot, but on 
Easter Sunday, my uh, my dad's wife or um, widow came to see us, and it's the first time I've seen her since the funeral because they live in uh, they live in Calgary. So she came. She was actually down here with her son, who is my um, stepbrother, and uh, because he was down here for a course for work um, in Toronto, actually. So, uh, yeah, they decided to come down here before he started his course and uh, spend the afternoon with us. So they did on Easter Day. And um, his little two-year-old daughter was with them because uh, Grandma was going to be watching her while, while her dad was uh, at the course. And his wife stayed home in Calgary because she's expecting again and she's getting close to her due date and she just wanted to have some rest with the little one gone, put her feet up and just kind of enjoy if a week on her, on her own for a change. <laughs> so they stayed for dinner. We didn't have a big, a big dinner, but we did cook a roast, potatoes, Yorkshire puds, just the usual. Looking for any more 21s. I don't have that many numbers left to do. I've got no, no 21 on there. Okay, so let's do 15, which is blue green. Now I have one of those in the flares too. Hoping you can see what I'm doing, that I'm not just covering things up. I don't know how people color so that you can see everything they do. But the way that I color with markers is that I go in circles and I just kind of like go around randomly. And this way you don't get those, you don't get those lines that water-based markers make. Instead you get kind of a texture. Sometimes it, when you do this, it peels the paper a little bit, but that's okay because then it just, it just like actually really makes the texture. Just don't do it too much. And also it doesn't bleed through when you do that. It just depends on what, uh, what paper you're using. On how much you can go over top of what you're doing. Oh, I need another drink. Sorry. My mouth is dry. It's been a miserable rainy day here, and it has been for like a whole week. So I have my little um, heater on in my room to, well, keep me warm, and it also helps me not, helps my, my pain because it's worse in the cold, so the heat, heating up the room helps that a bit. And speaking of my, well, something health related, my last, uh, my last video I told you that I had, um, been approved to use the, 
um, handy van um, service. It's it's like they call it the BTS network, which I mean isn't going to mean anything to you. So, um, but it's a dial a ride thing, and um, you get picked up in like a a van or a car or you know depending on how many people they're gonna pick up and and uh, disperse <laughs> so okay so here I go where I've got this is 15 and this is a 1 so I would if I was using pencils I would color this one 15 and then I would go over it with black but I'm just coloring the ones in the same color So anyways, I took my first ride, because I called up and I, I uh, scheduled my first few rides, and I've had my first one, and I have to tell you, I was nervous as all get out. I have not been anywhere on my own for, like... I mean, seriously, for years, because I don't drive, and my husband takes me everywhere, because I don't, I don't do public transportation because of my um, anxiety, and it just wreaks havoc when I'm on public transportation. So, this was the first time I was going out into the world for an expedition all on my own. I know it sounds pathetic, but it's true. And, um, it went really well. I mean, like, I was really, really nervous and everything, but once I, once I got on there, I was okay. And I wasn't nervous about coming back. On my own so you know I just had to get out there and get going and it went fine I had about a 20 minute ride because I was going to the next city for my doctor's appointment and then I have to pick a time for them to pick me up, which is kind of hard when you're going to a doctor's appointment because, um, you know, some doctors you have to wait around before you get in. And then, you know, I mean, you can be there for a couple hours or sometimes you just get in and you get seen right away. So I gave myself enough time in case... I had to wait, but not enough that if I had to wait forever, you know, a really long time. Now, is that a 15 or an 18? That's an 18. So that's the only 15 there. All right, so next color is, I know I've got another teen on here, so let's do that. I've got a 17 and I've got an 18. Okay, so let's do 17 because I think there's just a couple on there. So 17 is dark blue. And I don't have one of those. Is this purple or blue? That's purple. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the other the other pens that I'm using is I have the set of um Pentel Fudanescu touch pens. And these are the Japanese ones, not the, uh, not the ones you can buy here in North America, because they changed the nibs on them. Sorry, just having another sip. Uh, blue, I was looking for dark blue. Okay, I've got this one here. This is just an art line marker and oh yeah I was doing 17 which is dark blue
but when I got home, I mean, I, I was gone for, I don't know, maybe three and a half hours all total. Maybe more, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to how long it was. But when I got home, I was absolutely exhausted. I could barely talk when I walked in the door. My husband asked me how it went because he wasn't working that day. And um, I could barely speak. Told him it was fine, but I was tired. And I mean really tired. So I went upstairs, I fell on my bed, and I slept for like six hours. I didn't get, get up until oh I don't know it was 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night when I woke up. So that was obviously my fibro because what happens is when they get overstimulated I need to recuperate. Like when I go out, when I go out and do something, one day, the next day, I have to, I have to basically recuperate from it because the stimulation just is overkill on my senses. And I guess what I, what I, what I realized is that when my husband is out with me, um, I basically use him as a shield to shield me from everything that's going on around me. You know, um, all the people, all the talking, all the waiting in the in the waiting room, the telephones ringing. You know, there's all sorts of activity going on, and I guess I kind of use him as a shield against against all that. And with him not there, I was fully exposed to it. At least that's what I figure is happening. So hopefully after I've done this a few times, I have um, I have one appointment this week that the bus is taking me to, and then next week I'll have a couple of them. So hopefully after I've done it a few times, I won't be so tired when I come home, but you never really know. <laughs> but anyways, I was... Um, pleased that I had handled it so well and I did enjoy going out on my own and having that independence. Okay, so now we're going to do 18, which I think is my last teen, and then I just have a couple of 20s. Okay, so what color is 18? Purple. And that should be easy. Right here, my paper mate flare. So I'm doing 18. And I think there's just one, a couple down here on this fish. And what's left here? Just got 20s. Yeah, there's only 20s left on him. So I had so much fun coloring this, like doing the background and all that sort of thing. Like when I first started, I thought, oh, this is going to be 
time consuming. And it is, it's taken me a couple of days working on this. Not straight, obviously. I've colored out other, I've taken a break and colored other things while I've been working on this, but I really, really enjoy it. It's like so relaxing to just slowly trace my outline and then color it in. I am really looking forward to working in this book. And I will definitely be getting more of their of their color by number books. I'm definitely I definitely want to get their latest one. The latest one that came out was the um it's called City something. I don't know if it's City Scenes or City Sights, but something like that. So I'm definitely looking into that one. I want the still life one. Okay, so let's do the 20s now. So 20 is orange, and I've already used a yellow orange, so I think that's more of a coral color. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to go down here and use one of these Pentel Fudanensuko. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Okay, so I want 20. Okay, they're in here. These are really nice to color with. The uh, Japanese nibs on them are just really nice. <laughs> Most people use these for brush lettering, but I don't do that. So I use them for coloring. I'd like to um, do calligraphy. Which is different than brush lettering. Calligraphy, you use a slanted nib. Now, what was I talking about? I don't think I was talking about anything. Oh, I was just saying that I wanted more of these Creative Haven ones. Yeah, so I don't think I want to have more than two of them on the go at the same time, though, because... They are intricate and will take a while. The only problem is, is that I don't want them to go out of print. Like, they have a Christmas one. And I put it on my wish list. And I noticed that, like, just a couple weeks after I put it on my wish list, it's gone, it's, like, out of print. So I'm wondering if that's because they're going to either reprint it for this upcoming Christmas or if they've got a new Christmas one coming out. I just hope they have some, something, whether it be the old one or the new one, available for Christmas. doesn't sound like it's raining anymore, but it sure sounds wet out there. I can hear the cars 
all splashing by. I hope my light is good enough here. It's uh, evening. And I have my op light on. I think I've got it on here pretty good though. It's not casting any shadows. I'll have to remember where I've placed it. So let me know what you're up to in the comments down below. What are you coloring? Do you have either of the books that I introduced today? If you don't have the uh, Stunning Succulents book. Are you planning on getting it? Is there a new Creative Haven book that you're looking forward to? Either one that's just come out or an upcoming one? Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this on here because I've been, it's almost been 40 minutes. And my back is starting to twinge. So we will do 45 minutes or until I'm finished this orange. Whichever comes first. But I don't know if you can see that I don't have any of those lines that you get from water markers by doing this circular motion. There's a name for this. I heard somebody I heard somebody, oh, it was um, Aaron at um, Easy Adult Crafts. So I think she just, I think she just changed her name to um, I don't know what she changed it to. Easy Crafts Dash Erin, something like that. That's how I know her name is Erin because she was called the Easy Adult Crafts, and I had well, I have only just started following her, so I had no idea what her name was. If people say their name at the beginning of a video, it takes me several videos before I remember who they are. Like, um, Callig, Callig Girl, I think her name is something like that. She starts off by, si by saying, hi, it's your girl T. So, I know her name is T. Well, one thing that I've been doing is I'm um, trying to join in on some of the streams. Um, I don't like watching, like, watching playbacks of streams. It, it just, um, I don't know. It just, I don't find it very soothing or relaxing to hear the person that I'm watching talking to people who aren't there. I would rather just watch a pre-recorded video. I 
like how um, Anne had a colorful life and um, Lisa at um, Lisa's Lisa's color color world or I don't know Lisa's coloring world maybe it's Lisa it's Lisa coloring something um, I like how they do long streams I, I'm sorry not long streams they do long pre recorded color and chats like their color and chat can be like an hour and a half and I like and they're just talking to the camera like I am now and um but you know it's it's like they're talking to you specifically you kind of feel like it they're not talking to people who aren't there <laughs> but as i was saying is that i've been trying to get on to some streams while they're happening which i don't seem to get to too often but um i've been in a, i've been in a few lately so you may see me around i was in grace's oh grace's coloring life i don't know i'm not very good at remembering channel names but i was in her stream over the weekend really enjoyed myself there weren't a lot of people that I knew there or well actually I sh should say there there were but they're people that I just started to follow so they were a really nice bunch of people very welcoming and um, fun interesting chat that went on and I'm glad I got to be there in the live stream because I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much if I had watched the playback of the stream so yeah if you see me in a stream I'm not uh I'm not a big chatter. I just kind of, I color while I'm watching them. And, um, I have a hard time following the chat and following the person who's doing the live stream at the same time. So I tend to, like, focus on either one or the other throughout it. So yeah, I um I pipe up when I have something to say. I'm not afraid to to say something. I'm not you know naturally a lurker. I'll say I'll say stuff, but I do end up lurking because you know, like I say, I'm doing my own thing and often the conversation in, in streams is between people who like know each other already and so you know so uh, yeah we're just coming up to 45 minutes here so I'm almost done there's a uh, I'll be finishing this off with orange. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of white white in it too. Like here, that stays white. Right here, and there's some more white parts in it too. And then I just have I'm on uh, what color am I on? I'm on twenty, so I have twenty uh, two and 24 left to do. So if you want to see the finished picture of this, it will come
come in my May finished at the end of the month or any time from now to a couple of days from when, well, when you're seeing this, chances are I will put up a picture of the finished picture on Instagram that day. I try to coordinate my Instagram and my YouTube when when possible, which isn't very often. So yeah, if you want to join me over on Instagram, I upload a finished picture every day. And one thing that I've got coming up is I finished my first book. Finished my first coloring book. It's a small color by number, so it's not like a huge achievement <laughs> or anything. But uh, I'm pleased with myself to have to have uh, finished one. It it uh, feels like an accomplishment, and it makes me want to work on the bigger books. This, uh, for me, I'm going to be participating in um, Zoe's Colortronic Color Along. And I'm about three quarters of the way through the first Colortronic book. So um, my plan is to finish that. And uh, I just purchased the, the follow-up book, which is Animals. So I hope to get started in that one, but I'm not going to start it until I have finished the first one. So that's more you will see from me. I will try and do one of the, I'll try to do a color and chat for one of the one of the Colortronic pictures. So yeah, my um my shoulders are really, really bothering me right now, so I'm going to have to go. But, uh, yeah, we really added some color to this, and um, I'm looking forward to hopping into bed and finishing it. So, um, thank you for joining me. I hope that you um, enjoyed yourself and will come back to visit me again. Um, Please give me a thumbs up if you made it this far. It really helps my channel. And um, I will see you next time. So, in the meantime, until next time, bye bye